And I think she forgot homegirl's name. <laughs> I think she went to her and she's like, well, we're all here. Now, you're about to go do that on Diana Taurasi. <laughs> she won't, but we could always hope. Chelsea White. <laughs> As the most entertaining. And I, let's see how this turns out. The way that I live my life. It's not about me. I'm Brianna Stewart. I'm Drew Lloyd. This is, this is Brianna January. You're, you're watching, watching Balance Sports. Sports. I'm Jules. I'm Hunter. This is Balance Sports, and we just watched The Draft. Wow. We're going to start with the players. As we should, Miss Holly. <laughs> we'll get to you later. I think we all knew who was going to come number one. But after that, I feel like things were a little interesting, especially in the first handful. And then um, definitely some surprises as he we went through the draft overall. Um, I will say I thought ESPN did more coverage this year. Like as a whole, I feel like they went maybe deeper into some of the rounds. The show was a bit longer. Mm. Um, notes. Do we have notes? Yes. I appreciate you starting with the positive because there won't be many. <laughs> the looks were positive, and you stay tuned for the next episode because we are gonna do our fashion draft. Oh, hell yeah, we the are. The looks were really great. The looks were really really fun. I found myself really wanting a pre-show. I wanted, you know, the orange carpet. I wanted the orange carpet. I wanted to see them walk. I wanted to see all of that. And so, I watched ESPN. You know, Sports Center the hour before the game, and that was not there, and so that was a bummer for me. I did miss that and want that, and I think the players deserve that. Do you know if it was on Spaces or anything? I saw none of it. Just give us the whole spiel and shebang. Yes, yes. The number one pick, Aaliyah Boston, to the Indiana Fever. They had one job, and they did it, and so I think they did an incredible job with their draft. It led off by. Aaliyah Boston. Absolutely. You get a franchise player here in Aaliyah Boston, somebody that comes in and immediately you think um, fights for, maybe gets the starting position, Mm -hmm. Um, especially as young as that core is. She has seemed like and been an incredible leader for a long time on that South Carolina team. Yes. Um, And then I feel like Dawn has alluded to it here at the end of now her collegiate career, but it definitely seems like the WBA, the style of basketball and just how the rules are with defensive uh, three seconds, she's going to have the space to play her actual game and hopefully the refereeing to be able to play her actual game. I'm just excited Ooh. to see her go up against some of these grades because I feel like we've known for a long time that she's elite. Yeah. And I'm excited to see her go against some elite players. Absolutely. I, I think it's exciting for a franchise to get their first number one pick. Like that player can really do something and, and put a mark on it, uh, put a mark on the franchise and, and put you in a right direction. So I'm really, really excited for them. I think they did a great job. They did pick five players. Taylor Mike Sell to me um, is a really interesting player. She can shoot the lights out the gym. Um, she's tall. She plays a good uh, defensive style game coming from Ohio State. I think she could um, really push for a spot on this. I am curious to see what Taylor Mike Sell does. All right, then. What grade do you give the Indiana Fever? Like it, love it, nah, fam. I love this pick. I love Leah Boston. What's not to love? I mean, like you said, they had one job and they did it. So I love that. If they would have gone anyone else here, we would have been fighting in the yes. comments section. <laughs> <laughs> Riots would have happened in Indiana. Absolutely. So they did the right thing. I love it. Same Z's, exact same score for me. I love it. They did what they had to do. They did what they needed to do. Moving on to the Minnesota Lynx. They were the second pick, and they got Diamond Miller. Diamonds are forever. I really like what Minnesota did. I feel like these players are going to fit in really well. I feel like there's a good chance that definitely Diamond, maybe Bria and Dork are their space for them. I love that you believe that. I can't with you. And I want you to continue having that kind of faith. I don't. (laughs) Diamond Miller is really fun here. I like that pick. She's really athletic. Um, I think that in my mind, she doesn't necessarily fit the mold of what I think a Minnesota player is right now. And I'm kind of actually excited about that because I think she could be like a cool blend um, with kind of the status quo that they've had. I don't feel like they changed their roster too much from last year either. 
I think they have changed their roster a bit from last year with losing Sylvia Fowles, um, with Nafisa coming back. I think they just are going to have a new identity, and I'm excited for who that is because I think Diamond Miller is going to be a big part of that. Definitely. Um, the other girlies, again, fighting really hard. We're going to talk about this a lot, I feel <laughs> like, throughout this, but I – I have such a mixed feelings about the draft because it should be this moment of just like pure elation and joy. And really what it is, is like, I would say if you're not, if you're drafted outside of maybe the first, like literally four or five picks, you are fighting tooth and nail for that roster spot. And you could be an exemplary player, like outstanding, but you're going against, there's just no spots available. And so yes. it does kind of suck to be like, yes, I love that Bria Beal was selected 24th. Is she going to be on a roster? I don't know. We hope Bria Beal, you got this girl. What okay. do you rate Minnesota? I gave Minnesota. I love it. I really, I really do like the play, the pieces that they picked up. I think they drafted six players and I think three of them are going to stay. May the odds be ever in your favor. Three? <laughs> I'm going to give them I like it. I like Diamond Miller, but the rest of them, I thought that there were some other better players available maybe at those draft selections. Respectable. The Dallas Wings. Wow. A plethora of picks, shall we say. It really felt like they just like, just kept grabbing. Just kept grabbing. They got selections three, four, and five. However, they did not have the fourth pick. They traded the fourth pick, which was Stephanie Suarez. With the number three pick, they selected Maddie Segrist. Number four, they traded the rights of a future first round and second round pick to Washington for St- Stephanie Suarez. They also picked up Ashley Jones, Abby Myers, and Paige Robinson. I love the Maddie pickup. Yeah, I mean, she hooped. She did she lead the country in scoring? She uh, yes, she also led the country in scoring. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. So I really like Maddie at three. However, Stephanie Swore is at four. I don't dislike her at four. I dislike them trading a probably really good future pick for someone who's going to be a future player that's not even playing this year. And they have so many bigs. I think that Dallas picked up a lot of pieces that don't make a ton of sense to me within their system. That's like 40 players. Yes. <laughs> I feel like I can't see the vision, and that makes me feel uncomfortable. To be honest, I guess it's a good point for why Stephanie Suarez may be a good fit for this year, right? They don't anticipate her. She's not on this roster. Mm-hmm. So you see her when you uh, pull up the roster for Dallas. However, we know that she's not going to count against that this year. I love planning for the future. Would have loved to see some more now work. How many girls from Dallas that were selected do you think will make this final roster? Say would you trust? One. Ooh. Yeah, Maddie, I can't believe, I really thought Ashley Jones was going to be one of those players that was definitely going to make a roster all-time leading score at Iowa State. Hey, flop. She going to have to shoot that thing at training camp. When I see Ashley Jones' name with all these other names, I don't see her fitting. I don't see, oh, she's going to bump. I don't see it. Yeah. Like, it's just wild how hard they got to fight for these freaking spots. It really is. Um, For Dallas's pick, I'm going to say I like it. I give it a like it as well. Great. The Washington Mystics did select Stephanie Suarez. However, then they traded it to Dallas. Thoughts on Washington? It said at the bottom of the ticker, needs none. And we had to laugh. The boldness to just say we got it after you ended your season in fourth place. It shows a lot of confidence in the people that you brought in. It's also pretty disrespectful to the players who are sitting there. Yeah, it's called delusion. (laughs) They did not win the title. Also, you're just not an infallible team. Yeah. Um, How about needs like Elena Dellett on a healthy back? They need that, I would say. Needs none. Yeah, that was pretty wild. Um, and that's why they traded, actually. No no, no yeah, lies, I guess. They, they didn't they, need anything. They, they said, kick We it. said what we said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they did end up picking up three players. Oh, uh, lovely gown, said Washington. I just don't, you know, they did a lot of international picks, and I don't think these players are making this roster. I'm sorry, I hate to say it. They seem to think, 
I just can't get over it. Like, I really can't. I think for me, I'm going to give my grade right now. It's a nah fam. I don't think in fourth place you can be like, we don't need anybody. In third runner up. I'm just saying, like, a pick for the future, something to. You're saying, no, with Jordan Horston, Zia, uh, Zia Cook, Haley Jones, we don't know. That's what you just said. And I think that's not okay. I agree. I think that they could have used some help now. Um, I'm not mad at them because I actually think they might have won the trade technically. Like they got a pick from Dallas mm-hmm. in what's going to be a really good draft. Yes. So yes. I I actually think for Washington, while there were really good players at this spot, I think they're going to end up getting a really badass player when they have that selection in a year or two. No, they're garbage. It's a not fan for me. <laughs> Not garbage. It just like it wasn't an exciting. Oh well, they did get that pick. Then now we're like, that's good. Nah, fam, it wasn't exciting. <laughs> we we will appreciate this pick next season. Yeah, we will, and then we can have a different rating. But this year, in terms of like, it's ass. Sass factor. <laughs> yeah, no. Haley Jones being selected by the Atlanta Dream. Loved this. I just feel like that's a really great fit for her. I love Letitia Amire here. I really wanted her to fall to Seattle. I'm not <laughs> going to lie to you, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Haley Jones. I think a lot of people were kind of dinging her game, maybe her shot from deep uh, leading up to the draft. But this is a player that, again, seems like she's ready to come on the floor, be a facilitator. Uh, she's going to be paired with Ryan Howard, who is so exciting. And I just like this for Atlanta. It's an exciting pick. I'm really excited for her as well. I really like her. Like, she's one of those players who's out there a lot, and I like seeing her. So I'm really excited that she's going to uh, a franchise who I think is going to use her right away. I think being Atlanta's first selection, I think she's got a great chance of making the roster. Uh, Letitia Amir as well. Like, she was picked a little lower, but I'm excited for her. And I think that that's a great city for her to be in. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about Atlanta. Ooh. I know. I was excited about this as well. Even <laughs> Leah Brown, I think, was just like a good pickup at 15. I'm giving Atlanta, and I love it. I gave them I like it. it but it, as you can see, it's a high-pitched I like it. I like it. <laughs> and I like it. So next we have the Seattle Storm. Woo, we were on the edge of our seats when this was happening. Yes, we were. I am so excited they picked Jordan Horston. I think this, looking at where she was selected... I would say she fell. Like I think absolutely. She, like, the storm have said that they didn't even do interviews with her because they didn't anticipate her being this low in the draft, which is kind of wild. To that me. is really wild. Yeah. Um, did, how did they have no idea? <laughs> I'm like, she was. Gonna, you ain't interview everybody. I, I question. No, I'm like, there was not that many players, <laughs> and you knew she was gonna be around that range. Anywho, Very we excited. are so excited we for are Jordan. So excited, <laughs> and we are. I mean, she's gonna pair with a. Uh, another volunteer in Mercedes Russell. I think she's going to jump right into the starting lineup. Oh, yeah. I said what I said. Jordan Horston? That's exactly what I said. Here's the starting lineup right now. No, I'm not doing it. Look, what is exciting about this to me, even with Maddie Williams out of Oklahoma, a player I've seen a lot play because Big 12. Um, I agree that um, I think multiple players here have chances to make rosters because there was so much turnover in Seattle. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the few rosters, in my opinion, that there's not fixtures that you're saying, okay, there's these players are confirmed. I feel like right now. A lot in flux. A lot's in flux, honey. Okay, so what is your rating for Seattle? I love it (laughs) because for the available players, like they picked ninth. Yeah, they did a great job. And I love what they brought in. I agree. In our draft, I selected Jordan Horston at four at Dallas. I thought she was going to go in the top four or five, honestly. Um, I will say I love this too. I think that to get her at nine feels like a steal. I definitely feel like this is a player that will be getting minutes. I'm going to say it right now. Jordan Horston will be on this year's all rookie WNBA team. Oh, hot take, hot take. Early predictions. Oh, do I mean that? I'm clipping We'll see that. you at training camp. If she hurts herself between now and then, that's on God, and I do get to reselect. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to talk about these outfits, too, because Jordan Horston was beat for the gods. She looks great. Next, we have the Los Angeles Sparks. LA had to wait till 10 for their first pick, and they went with somebody who I would say just... 
at times, with Aaliyah Boston was putting South Carolina on their back, and that is Miss Zaya Cook. Congratulations. They also picked up Monica Cezano, Shanice Swain, and an international player from China. I loved seeing how much this meant to Zaya, um, how hard she worked. I always like seeing them interact with their coach, too. And um, she just had some really nice words to say about Dawn. Zaya Cook is someone who I feel like has really elevated their game in the last couple of years and um, is just such a flashy player that I feel like has these bursts of offensive explosiveness that I feel like teams would want that. You know, when you're pulling someone off the bench to change the atmosphere, this to me is somebody that could come in. However, Quanta Williams Mm. can come in and just absolutely light it up and change the dynamic. I could see Zach Cook filling a similar bill. I love that. Kurt Miller may be building something over there. And I think she's a really good fit there. I also really enjoyed just how authentic she was on draft night. And it was this moment of like, yeah, I feel like everybody wants to be so flashy and this. And and she was just like, it was just so real. And you're like, yeah, this is like a 20 something year old whose dreams have come true. Like that is, that is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It was just nice to see. For LA, I would give them an, I'm going to give LA. I like, I'm going to give them an, I like it as well. I like that. I like what they did. Yeah, Zai Cook was a great pickup here at 10. Um, I feel like when you draft this late, when your first pick is this late, I'm not saying Zai Cook is not incredibly exciting. It's just like that this is going to be a good role player. You know it's not somebody that's going to come in and change your franchise. So I like what they did here. They picked someone good with their selections. Mm -hmm. Um, I really like Monica Cesano. I don't know that she'll make the roster. She's one of those who... Most of you, if you watched uh, the NCAA tournament with Iowa, like she was, it was like, oh, hey, 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 she can get in there and play. She's she's a good she's a good ball player, um, but I just don't know that there's enough um, enough space to go around. But we can hope. We can always hope. Okay, so the Sky Sun, Phoenix, Liberty, and Aces all picked in the second and third round. Late, late. And truthfully, we're not going to get into every single one of them. If Go. you did not turn in your assignments, a.k.a. draft enough players or drafted really late, you uh, are not getting a grade this semester. I hate to break it to you. Players of note. Player of note. Alexis Morris. I think she has a good chance of making the Sun roster. I say that just sheer numbers wise. Um, she is undersized, so she's really going to. There's no way to grow. So she'll have to really be battling, but um, rooting for her. We're all rooting for you. I feel like if I was any of the players drafted to Liberty, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to New York for two weeks and then going home because you have you have who you needed. You got all that taken care of in the off season. So I'm feeling some type of way and, you know, I'm feeling some type of way. So I'm going to feel my type of way. Shall we get into the holly of it all? <laughs> We're going to watch attempt. A we're going to attempt to watch Holly here. First of all, I can't wear this jacket. Why did the middle of her jacket have sleeves? The China was serving. She looks great. She that borrowed green. that dress from Monica McNutt. She wore a similar dress in the thing, that green. It looked incredible. Oh, yeah. What do you think about this? This is very exciting. This is very exciting. I can't believe it's not every game. <laughs> That's the thing. Okay, I'm it was excited. Like it was so close. It was like, and some games. Okay. Only back to backs. This shoes, Mama. <laughs> it was a funny joke. That one worked. That one worked. Her brother's face? He is not He is not here for it. This is when she it feels got off easy too. It feels like speed dating, where she's just like, say some shit about people. Chicken! She said, visit the visitor's bureau. No, 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 no. What was the purpose of this? Isn't there supposed to be a producer in the ear who's like, stop. No, just cut it. We're talking about basketball. (laughs) Talking about tourism and chicken. And her mom said hello. She was like, hi, everyone. (laughs) Hers could have gone right. She was like, yeah, we thought we'd play horse. And then she's like, (laughs) It's when she laughs to Jake from State Farm. She is aware that this is going so poorly. <laughs> Bro, what are we doing? Drag him. Drag him. Say hello. She looked great. She looked amazing. It's not about Kim. No, this took me out because she points to Grace Burger and she's like, and 
And everyone here, I, she either forgot her name or they're in her ear finally for the first time the whole goddamn walk. Wrap saying, it up. Like, Holly, we got to go. And I think she forgot homegirl's name. I think she went to her and she's like, well, we're all here, aren't we? I don't know if we needed like a roast style MC situation awkwardly beginning the segment. That was not it. This showed why we missed the orange carpet. We missed moments. We missed the storytelling to know who these players are. And that was not a great substitution for that. Felt um, very non-congruent mm-hmm. with like who the players were or how I thought the draft was going to go. It was yeah. just like, mm, it was awkward. Mm. And the players had some thoughts on that too. On Beyonce's internet, Ryan Howard said, interact with this tweet if you think Andrea Carter should host from here on out. She think I'm playing. Shakira Austin responded and said, because the way that our draft interviews were weird as hell, felt like it was just a spotlight on our traumas, bro. That's how it feels. Like, Holly throws up these questions. Even so, after they're done, they walk across the The know, interviews with them afterwards. The interviews afterwards, it's like... Your family sacrificed so much. Your, your dad wasn't there. It was a, it's just like, stop. Like, let's just be celebratory. Like, why does it... Why are you tugging at the, the heartstrings with this like get it out the mud type story it's like that's so unnecessary can we just be happy that wow you accomplished your dream look at that yeah it is an overwhelming feeling for this player that it mostly joy i don't think this person is sitting there and gonna remember their draft day and think of the culmination of all the shit ass things that have happened in their life (laughs) that for some reason we always try to bring up at the draft it's like hey do you remember wouldn't it be cool if holly was like Alexis, you remember that time you just did that step back three on Kaylin Clark last week? Like, now, you're about to go do that on Diana Taurasi. <laughs> she won't, but we could always hope. Let that dream happen. Yes. It could be like this. Yes. Yeah. Anywho. Instead, we got to talk about them helping the youth in overcoming their biggest obstacles. Okay, so that is our draft coverage. The next time you see us, we'll be doing our fashion draft. The ultimate draft the only draft that really matters i mean this one was cute but like how how i remember balance sports is the fashion draft episode that's when i become that's when these players become mine like shakira austin is like my girl i I got her you know what i mean yes based on that outfit for balance sports i'm jules i'm hunter they have better vision than i do in this moment yes